Good morning, Ramblers. Today is Wednesday, September 18th. I'm Andon here with your morning announcements. Do you like history? Are you a trivia whiz? History Club might be for you. Members of the new History Club will be able to partake in the annual History Bee in spring. Those who advance far enough have a chance to travel to the national competition. We will also be working on the Veterans Day Assembly, as well as other upcoming events. Any student in grades 6 through 12 who is interested can send an email to Ms. Scanlon in the middle school to sign up at nsscanlon at wimberschools.org. Attention, World Language Honor Society members. You must touch base with Mrs. Corbett about fundraising ASAP. Homecoming dance tickets will be sold during high school lunch periods from today, Wednesday, September 18th through Wednesday, September 25th. Tickets will be $8 per person or $15 per couple. Please bring exact change. Additionally, students require permission forms for dance guests outside of the district should pick up a form in the office and turn in prior to Wednesday, September 25th. Attention any student interested in TSA. There will be a sign-up sheet posted on Mr. Alexander's door, room 102, by the nurse's office. For today's sports, we have junior high volleyball away at Berlin, 4.30 p.m. JV and varsity volleyball away at Berlin, JV at 6 p.m. varsity at 7.15, Junior high football away at Myersdale at 6 p.m. Varsity boys and girls soccer home against Connemouth Township. Boys at 5 p.m., girls at 7.15 p.m. That's all for announcements today. Thanks and have a great day. Now let's head over to the weather desk. Good morning. Gabe here with your daily weather. For today's weather, it will be rainy with a high of 69 and a low of 59. Looking further into the week, Hello, I'm Kelly Berkheimer, the high school counselor. Over the past several segments, you have learned several steps in helping someone who may be suicidal. The final step in our segment is to follow up. How do you follow up? Well, after your initial contact with a person experiencing thoughts of suicide, and after you've connected them with the immediate support system they need, make sure to follow up. This is a great time to check in with them to see if you can support the person in any other way. It takes courage to follow up with a person who's hurting. Here are a few ideas of what to do. Just leave a message, send a text, or give them a call. If you see them in school, say, hello, I'm glad to see you today. You want to eat lunch together? Some other ideas are to include them in your friend circle. Invite them to join in an activity with you or walk in the hallways. Why is this important? Well, this type of contact can continue to increase their feelings of being connected and share your ongoing support. There's evidence that even a simple form of reaching out, like sending a caring message, can potentially reduce their risk for suicide. Studies have shown how important following up can be in individuals in suicide prevention. Supportive, ongoing contact as a friend can make a difference. We'd like to thank you for being attentive during this video series. If you have any questions or concerns, remember, reach out and be the one to. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.